this is lecture from saurabhschool.org and this lecture tells us about functions so this is second lesson on functions where we learn about how to pass arrays to functions and that using two different types like as pointer or as an array then we do second thing that we learn here is we learn how to return more than one variables from a function which is passed by reference and passed by value then we see some of the scopes of variables and we learn these three things so let's try to see what the function does so first thing we see is that I define my list as an integer array which has five elements then we have a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5 and we want to find the sum and difference which are stored in sum and div. So first what we see is that we do the sum of all elements in an array and for that we have made a function called sum all and the argument is the function the array and the number of elements in it. So let's see we go to the function to function sum all and sum all btr and so we have here so first thing is what we see is sum all so this is the sum all is the function name so this is the name of the function sum all then we see the left hand side it says the return type so the return type of the function is int then we have arguments which are inside the bracket so we have int so this is the data type so first argument has a type int and then it's an basically integer array because now we have list of numbers which is an array and next we have again a data type is int and it is n so this is second argument is an integer what we do now is we have to find the sum of all the elements in the list num so what I do is i is equal to 0 till i is n minus 1 I find the sum of all numbers and store it in sum so sum int sum is a local variable inside the function and what it does is that we now have a statement sum is equal to sum plus list number i which sums all the number and then it returns back so this is the first way of passing arrays which is just simply writing the a variable type which is int and then the list num with square brackets so it means we are passing integer array let's see another way which is using pointers so here what happens is that we are passing the uh, the integer array as pointers in which i do int star list num so it's almost all things are the same only thing is here it is different and I pass int star list num and what we do is now we make a pointer so it's like I have int star ptr and I make it equal to list num so what happens is that ptr is equal to list num for i is equal to 0 i is less than n i do i plus plus and at the same time i do ptr plus plus which means it is moving to the next element and sum is equal to sum plus i do the dereferencing of pointer here and then i return the sum so this was about the two functions so now let's see the math operation and what this function does so if we see this math operation so this is for call we will learn about call by value 
और पास बाई वैल्यू एंड पास बाई रेफरेंस तो इट्स पास बाई वैल्यू और पास बाई रेफरेंस so what happens here is that we have we want two numbers and because we have to find both the sum and the difference so we cannot because we can return just one value so we cannot you calculate both of them and return as one so what we do is that we pass two numbers int star sum and int star diff so because these are pointers so now star sum is equal to num1 plus num2 so exact change will be made in these variables itself and it will be returned the values will be changed and returned back and these are basically so now we see visibility of variables so we have an integer variable called int num and it is in present in num visible 1 visible 2 we print those values and what we see is that when we come back here so we have we call visible one so first is num int number is there in main we print int number then it goes to visible one it prints number which is 30 and then it goes to visible two so there now a new scope of int number is there so it prints 20 so this is about the code so now let's see how it runs so we run the code and we see that the sum of all in my list all numbers in my list is 28 using the first passing by array and next thing is sum of all using pointers then the sum is 15 difference is 5 and now we see that when we call number so in the main it the number is 100 when we go to visible 1 it is 30 and when we go to visible 2 it is 20 so this was about so here what we learned is that we learned about three different things so first we learned about passing array function so this was the first thing next we learned about what was uh, passing as pointers and the last thing was scope of variables so these were the three things that we learned if you like this video lecture so please subscribe to our channel you can like this and of course you can share this on facebook as well as you can go to www.sorofschool.org to watch more such videos thanks a lot